Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for cancer. Guys, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes and your views. I appreciate it. It helps the channel. It helps the message get out to more people. And yes, it does make me feel good. So please continue to do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content and other services that I provide. By all means, go check out the store. Yes, we do have a store for my Earth, Steel, and Stone um, jewelry items. If you um, stop over there and see something that you like, by all means, get in contact with me or purchase through the site. If you see something that you are inspired by, because I also have um, some new items that I have not put on the store just yet, by all means, inbox me or email me and we can get yours to you ASAP. Okay? Okay. All right, Cancers. So your channel song for this week. Respect by Miss Aretha Franklin. I'm not sure, but I believe you may have had this previously. Don't remember, but take it as it applies. Um, yes, either you receiving it and wanting and demanding somebody put respect on your name, or this is you um, giving someone respect. So, take it as it applies, all right? But that there is just plain and simple. Respect. Period. Dot. That's it, that's all. Respect. All right? TT Music Oracle Message for Cancer. All right, there's two. Let's see if we can get at least one more. All right, three more. We have Kiss of Life by Sade. I'm Real by J-Lo. Cupid by 112. Who Runs the World by Beyonce. More Than Words by Extreme. All right, let's see, what is that? That came out in the general, so check the general message for today. There could be something in there for you, okay, Cancer? Under the deck, we have One Wish by Ray J. Putting your petitions out there, asking God for what you want, putting your intentions out there, and taking actions on them. Bring some stuff in for you. It brings in some clarity. It brings in love. An end of a cycle. You going from one state of being, understanding, place, space, energy, into something new, into something else. Um, expression. Deep expression. Deep knowing. Rather than just... Um, saying words and speaking words you are taking action you're putting actions behind your words actions behind your intentions like i said it's the um going from one you know state of mind understanding into another but also um my apologies i got distracted lost my train of thought <laughs> That's what I said. Putting your intentions, your thoughts, your prayers, and your petitions out there, but also putting action behind that word, actions behind that faith. If you are familiar with the Bible, there is a passage that says, faith without works is dead. You can believe, petition, and pray, ask for something all you want to. But the thing is, is, is you also have to put action behind that petition in order for it to 
uh, come in. God will say, okay, you've asked me for something, but what are you willing to do? What, are you, what energy are you willing to put in in order for me to be able to release and open these doors up for you? Faith without works is dead, Nuggets. All right. There is that message. All right. Okay. So, Psychic Tarot Oracle message. We have card number nine, Suffering in Silence. And card six, Victory and Success. Are you afraid of your own success, Cancer? I'm going to let you sit with that and think about that for a second. Are you afraid of moving forward? Afraid of attention? Afraid of eyes being on you? Afraid of someone seeing you? Overthinking? Possibly? Anxious? Chill out. Whatever this is, you've asked for it. Put your intentions out there. Now you're getting it. Now you're scared. Why? Under the deck, we have ha, card number 11, balance. This is uh, the justice card. This is um, karma. This is the, you know you getting the consequences of your actions and now you're being presented with open wide open space and that has you nervous it has you nervous to go forward and continue to move and do something well what are you sowing what karma are you sowing what are you putting in completely up to you though what you receive and how you receive it and your perspective of it for some of you this is um having made a decision you know that energy of being between a rock and a hard place and being triumphant in in your moving in your movements and you're now like oh shit this actually worked I actually got what I wanted. I have success. I have victory. I have uh, what it is that I wanted. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous of my, um, of my actions. I'm nervous of my what I actually thought, what I actually put energy into coming to me. What the hell? All right, well, that's, that's on you. You put the petition out there. That is why we are mindful of the words that we say and the, uh, the things that we think, the thoughts that we think, because your thoughts and your words become things. I'm just saying. Now you got somebody all up in your face, this love interest, this person, all up in your face you didn't ask for you didn't pray to god for this you asked for this and now this this person place or thing whatever it is that you've asked for is in front of you and you didn't now you didn't scared yourself because you like oh shit i can actually manifest what i want what you think was gonna happen nugget just saying. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to just get some more messages and just let y'all marinate on that. More than words. It's more than words now. It's more than you just saying stuff. This is now you realizing that your words have power. Just saying. Your words have power. Your thoughts have power. So what are you manifesting? 
All right, we have Messenger of Air. This is swift, fast, quick communication. Swift, fast, and quick movement. You actually have to do something. You actually have to say something. You're actually being listened to. Now what? There's truth being spoken. Are you in a place and space to listen to it? Are you in a place and space to hear it? Are you in a place and space to take action on what it is that you put out there? Huh. Under the deck, we have the six of earth. Again, more balance. This is more balance. As within, so without. As above, so below. So, Cancer, what you want is right here in front of you. You gonna overthink it to oblivion or are you going to take the action to accept it and walk in it up to you you grown if you're not grown listening to me go talk to your parents about it I'm gonna give I'm, I'm gonna say what I say but go talk to your parents about it I'm not giving nobody no advice this is general energy message you take it or you leave it all right so, what is the Moonology Oracle message for Cancer? Alright, so Cancers, we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full Moon and Taurus. Uh... Dealing with the consequences of your actions and moving accordingly. Make a practical plan. Write it down. Get your ducks in a row. Get things in order. Because what you want is here. What you ask for is here. What you've put your faith and your petitions out to God for is here. The thing is, is, is when we pray, we think, oh, this, you know... We'll pray and we'll ask for something, but we don't necessarily truly expect for it to come to pass. But then when it does come to pass, it's like, oh, it don't come through how we want it to all the time, but it does come through. And then when it comes through, it's like, okay, so now am I prepared to actually... Um, operate in the energy that I have created that I've asked for that I've spoken into being make a practical plan under the deck we have you are good enough full moon in Virgo this is a lot of earth energy this is things coming into being things balancing themselves out with or without you the energy is going to be, pre be presented. The, what you want is going to be presented. What you're putting out there, what you're moving towards, what you want wants you. The thing is, is, is when you get it, what you going to do with it? I'm letting y'all, I'm letting y'all marinate on stuff I'm letting y'all marinate some of y'all be playing with God and God is like oh okay so you want to play let me show you let me put you 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 want to put something out there you want to pray and ask me for something but then when I actually put it in front of you you don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm being the God that you're trusting me to be, but you don't really trust me. That's the test. Oh, Jesus. All right, God. Hold on, y'all. Messing up. Just, just marinate on that for a second. Let that let that rich around in your brain, because I know it's it's kind of profound. 
think back to things that you have petitioned and asked God for and how many times God has truly come through. And I mean truly. I mean like when you have asked God and prayed for God to remove things from your life or to show you things or to give you things. How many times has those things come to fruition but in all actuality you were not mentally or emotionally prepare for those um, for those petitions to come to reality how many times have you had victory how many times have you been successful in getting what it is that you want and making the moves that you made and now you're actually dealing with the consequences and the the karma that you've put energy into. I'm just saying. All right. Spirit animal message. We have card number 26. Flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. Embracing the rock and the hard place. What you gonna do? You have no choice but to respect the energy and respect the, the things that you've said. Respect the place that you're in. Respect God's power. Respect God's power in you as a co-creator. Embrace the in-between. Under the deck we have card number 15. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. You get what you want. You got what you want, got what you asked for now. Or you can see it right in front of you. And now what? Get your life together. Get it. I'm telling y'all, God is not playing. God is not playing. He is showing us every single day that what we want is there for us. We, in our limited minds, in our limited thinking and limited understanding, are being asked to expand and broaden that understanding to get more in alignment with God so that we know that not only is God in everything around us, but God is also in us. So that is the reason why our words have power. Our communication has power. Not just our words, but our thoughts and our thinking. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. All right. Guidance and advice for cancer. We have star bathing, light body crystal grid transmission activation so you've gotten some some uh some information or some clarity or some uh spiritual gifts that have come in and you scared yourself well again when you ask god for something are you prepared for it ground yourself Think about the place and space that you're in. Think about where you're trying to go, where you want to go, and where God is showing you all the places God is showing you that you are blessed and that you, the things that you wanted are successfully coming in. Are you prepared for it? There is a pause. There is a place and space of in between what you don't want, you being in the in the middle space, and then what you do want in front of you. Up to you. Under the deck we got cracked open. Who just got this? I want to say your opposite sign of can uh, Capricorn got this card in the same position cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life you ask god for something god brought it to you and now you just like but i didn't want it like this 
be clear on what you're speaking. Be clear on what you're thinking. Be clear on what you're asking for. Be specific. Because God will do it. The thing is, is, are you prepared for it? I'm going to leave it there. Energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time. Um, I am going to say very much the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Alright Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.